Here we are at Balch Pond in Maine on the New Hampshire border. Land of the metal roofs and standing seam roofs. I love it. Do you really need more than this? Show them the guns. No, no, the handguns. Not, not the spaghetti. Linguini. Spaghetti for dinner? Hey, welcome to the ultra low budget. I'm talking low budget. Flip camcorder, all the thing miraculously works. It's uh, pretty incredible. Edition of Tiny Yellow House. I'm your host, Derek Diedrichson. Speedboat noise interference in the background, but that's all right. This is the Island Episodes, man. I'm with the goon, my brother goon. Dustin. We're checking out an island here that's for sale up on the main border in New Hampshire. Just look at how clean this lake is. You don't get that near Boston, I tell you what. What? I think I cut a, Jer the... a jersey plate on that one. A <laughs> jersey plate, yeah. No wake, buddy. No wake. He almost destroyed the island. I think this rock pile here is some kind of cairn for the dead. Past tourists who tried to buy this island are now buried there. I think that's where they're going to put the giant wind turbine. Ye outsiders, beware the wind turbine. Yeah, these people would love it. Now this town here, what is it, Newfield? And uh, near East Wakefield East and what? Wakefield. It's absolutely gorgeous. The people are so nice and uh, the beer is very drinkable. And it's and it's peppered with and it's peppered with dirt roads, which are very picturesque as the water overrides my voice again. So here we are in Balch Pond, as I believe the pronunciation is. Um, I'm looking, I apologize, like a uh, refuse scraped off a redneck's boot after cleaning a septic tank. My brother and I uh, were at a rock show last night I performed uh, at with my band Age Against the Machine. And uh, after getting, what, like two and a half, three hours of sleep? In our cars, mind you, outside some parking lot of an antique shop in the middle of nowhere. We uh, just dragged out some kayaks. We're checking out this island, like I said, for sale. I have some plans, and probably Magic Man Steve Sherrick will edit in the drawing of the little cabin slash box I propose to uh, clandestinely, if so goes the pronunciation, put on this island here, which is like 0.04 acres. It's pretty much a pimple. Show the kayak. I don't know how much this you can see. Here's the basic sketch design idea. It's more or less a box you sleep in that locks up security wise when you're not on the island camping. It could be a tree fort, it could be a ground fort, it could actually, you could put pontoons on it, it could be like a shanty boat as well. This is uh, one of the sketches of design that's going to be in my follow up to the uh, DIY book I released, Humble Home Simple Shacks. Um, if you check out relaxshacks.com, it's my site. Uh, and buy a book, I'll toss in this sketch and others as well for free. Offer not applicable in Puerto Rico. I don't know if you can really see this. Just the basic idea. It's a box with a flip open skylight here. For air, for light, for uh, you know access. The other side would have a door with a flip up roof. Rain collecting roof. Recycled salvage windows. Um, you know, something built simply, cheaply, and it's prefabricated. You can move it to the site in uh, bits and pieces. Less work in remote locales where there's no electricity, no running water, and so forth. Just the general idea. Yeah, you know you're in small town Americana. We uh, just went here from the end of the lake, right on the New Hampshire uh, main border. There's a marina here. Stroll in. It's a convenience store as well. Ask the lady where I can get a kayak. 
uh, for a rental. She says, ah, sorry, we don't rent kayaks, but you can just take mine, use it for the day. No charge. Gratis. Yeah, there's islands all over this this pond. Balch Pond slash after the main border, it's called Stump Pond, I believe. But there's these cool little islands everywhere. Lots of little birch trees here and some kind of conifers that are actually, I don't know, how tall are these dust? How tall do you think? 35 feet, 40. 35, yeah, pretty good size. The island it says, I don't know, two, three feet, three feet off the water. Look at this, unbelievable. We come to get in touch with nature, he's on a cell phone. Ordering a pizza. Sell, sell now, sell now, <laughs> sell now. No, not, sell that too. <laughs> Loon fight. Too bad the zoom doesn't get in any closer. Those things are probably 40 feet away. All right, will this shot make America's Funniest Home Videos as Dustin Dijerson tries to get into a canoe much too small for him? <laughs> You're knocking me over. And hold your breath. Oh, that'd be great. That'd be great if you swamped it. There's the other island that's for sale. Five dollars. Check out this little A-frame. Tiny little guest cottage here in the woods. You can't really see it too well. I don't want to trespass here and get shot at. And here's the A-frame up close with a very strange uh, separate flu. Some more trails on island number two here. So again, it's gotten some use, but I don't see any campfire rings, which is usually the uh, indication of, uh, well, obviously campers to be super unprofound, kids partying, whatever. But I don't see anything like that yet. Definitely people have been here. Probably people just uh, using the island as a fishing base, casting off the shore. This uh, pond here is famous for its loon population. I hear some great fishing as well. Sandwich. This program additionally brought to you by Good Sandwiches. Seven Lake Sandwich Shop. Diedrich sent off that phone! And Motorola. Look at this beater though, come on. Again with the, the cell phone, come on. And now a union lunch break? Jesus. I'm paying you good non money to work for me. Come on. We're on the second, the, the bigger the bigger the odds. Oh, you're trying to get me with the cell phone now? It's an emergency, I cut my leg. Alright? Emergency. He's just confirming our uh, reservations at the Ritz tonight. <laughs> no, we bought a, a flip camera and we're shooting. So, depending on whether or not we actually buy this island, maybe the uh, video here shall continue later on with a cool little tiny portable uh, gear stow slash cabin right here on another episode of Tiny Yellow House. Arriva there, chi baby, whatever that means, but it sounds kind of cool to wrap up the show, so I figured I'd roll with it. See ya! Tisk, tisk, folks. Just when you thought the show was over, he's at it again.